Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a kind of like a that trend that's going on um, where it's like you look cold, like there's a lot of blush happening, um, kind of like a pale look and then I'm also going to kind of do that effect around my eyes so if you want to see that this is kind of like a holiday trend inspired video um, it's going to be a very kind of natural sort of makeup the only color that I'm really going to be using is red and I'm going to do a little liner with my AOA Studio Neon Buttercream Gel Liner in Ambition <clears throat> which is the like red so yeah if you want to see that keep on watching okay let me get my hair up here and we will get going on skin today um i will say i'm not gonna do i just got a lot of really cool contouring products i'm not really going to use a lot of them except for this one today um because i kind of want this to be more about the blush moment than so much the contour so that being said, I have pulled out my Blurch um, by Mitchell, made by Mitchell in Dairy Queen and Milk Mix to kind of like lighten it a little bit, but I'm gonna be using these as my blush today. So let's go in with a little bit of foundation. And I think I wanna do, let's see, what do I wanna do? I think I'll do a little bit of my Danessa Myricks. Let me just give it a shake. This is the Yummy Skin foundation in 3P. And I'm gonna Fowey. And I'm going to mix this, oops, this with my House Labs foundation that for some reason I'm obsessed with. I'm, I'm not really sure why. But I'm gonna do those um, in a little time lapse with some concealer. And as usual, I'm just using my beautiful skin concealer by Charlotte Tilbury in 3 Fair. And I'm going to set that with my um, AOA Studio Soft Light um, Perfect Loose Powder. So I'm gonna do that in a little time lapse and then we will get to the fun part, which is gonna be the blush. Be right back. Okay, so we're back and we have our base on. Um, the, I always forget the yummy skin is so light, um, such a light color, so, but don't let it shock you. We got there in the end and I used my new contouring color, which I'm obsessed with. It's the She Glam Soft Tan Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour. This is just so subtle, so beautiful, so good. Okay, hey, so I forgot, um, before we set everything, we really need to get in here and make sure that we have our, our liquid blush going for this, it's cold outside sort of effect that we're doing today. So, my palette in front of me, let's just mix up these two colors. I love a purple blush, especially for this effect that we're doing today. I feel like purple blush is the way to go because it's a cool tone and we kind of want that, we kind of want that cool tone. So when you get cold, I'm gonna shake these. just gonna go ahead and use the milk mix if I need it. It's on my palette. I'm just gonna draw on some blush because we really kind of need a lot for today. This I wouldn't recommend if you're not doing what we're doing because this is a lot of blush, but since we're kind of doing the whole blush thing, I figure why not just paint it on? I'm gonna use a little stippling sort of brush or a 
duo fiber brush, that's what I wanted to say. I'm gonna pick up some of the, the white, the milk mix color on my brush and that'll just help us to blend. I think the sponge was just picking up too much of the color and we really need actually quite a bit of color for this kind of a look. We're even gonna put on some powder blush to amp it up a little, even a little bit more than this. So now I'm going to go ahead and powder and I will be right back and we will continue with the look. We'll do some eyes. I'm gonna do kind of that popsicle style lip. Bear back. From here, I wanna do a little work around the eyes with almost the same color as we're gonna use on the cheeks, but the cheeks we're gonna use a more subtle color and I'm gonna use my Beauty Bay palette for the eyes. So let's, okay, I'm just gonna grab a kind of fluffy and flat brush, a multitasker brush, if you will. I'm gonna go in with the color Sugar Plum and I'm gonna mix in the color Fairy Tale. So those two there, a matte and a shimmer, one lighter, one deeper. These are the two lightest purples in this palette though. And then we'll just kind of, I'm gonna kind of smoke up the bottom. I kind of think if you were having the sniffles or like, you know what I mean? Like you were kind of had a cold or something. That's kind of what this whole look is. And I think it's really cute. It's kind of like at the intersection of e-girl and um, like Harajuku, um, like kawaii sort of makeup. I'm just going to focus it right around the eye. I'm not really going to put anything on the lid. It's not really about the color so much as it's about the like shading. And I'm just keeping everything in a purple to keep it cool toned, cohesive, and kind of like that frozen sort of idea. And then I'm going to take a little bit of highlighter in a purpley tone. I'm just going to kind of smudge over the, the entire eyelid now. I'm kind of setting the concealer and this highlighter is brighter than the tones I've laid down. So this is gonna kind of help blend this out a little bit and make it a little shinier. And then we'll take the lighter shade in here, the white, the white up here. I'm gonna put that in the front. Give this nice icy inner corner highlight. I'm gonna do a little bit on the nose. A little bit on the Cupid's bow. Do a mixture again of this color and this color which are pinch of peach and well dressed by mac I'm just gonna mix the two on my brush those two have been my jam lately and they're a little bit more on the cool tone purpley side this one especially so i'm gonna load up some blush
for this, don't be afraid of the color. <laughs> really, you can really stamp this in. Get it on top of that cream blush and just really help it pop. Whenever I do a look like this, I kind of like to take it up my temples. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can try it. And I'm just going to take a mixture of Ice Pick Headache and Asphyxia Frost. So the purple and kind of the, I don't know, gray purple? <laughs> I guess that's what that is. And don't worry, you can always go over this with blush again, which I will, to kind of get rid of the line and help it blend. But you do want a good bit of highlight with this kind of a look. I do anyway. You don't have to. Ooh, I see. Ooh. Okay. And we'll go back with our blush. And then, tap off the excess, and we'll just tap over the top with this highlighter. See that? Kind of just veils over it, helps it kind of be peeking through the blush, but not so pronounced like it was before. Gorge. Okay, then we're gonna take our little flat brush we were using to blend everything, and we'll just take those same two colors, Modern Way and Spontaneous. And I'm gonna do something very weird, but I'm gonna put it right on top of the highlighter on my top lip. And on the bottom. I'm gonna take a little bit of pink too. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use have, have them wink, make them wink. It's a little bit of a pinkier moment. I'm just gonna pop on some mascara and a little bit of brow gel, but first let's take this Dairy Queen from Mitchell, M -m 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 Mitchell, and I'm gonna pop it on the inside. And I already had a little bit of gloss on, which will help it be more popsicle-like and also easier to blend. So I'm kind of just trying to keep it focused right in the middle. You get that kind of, I just was eating a sucker kind of a look. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish this look real quick and I will be right back. Okay everybody and this is the finished popsicle baby it's cold outside Jack Frost type look. I hope that you enjoyed this holiday tutorial. Um, it's a pretty simple look. I actually totally forgot I was going to do the red liner but I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't because I like it all monochromatic like this where it's just kind of mauves and purples and I put a little bit of um, Night Moth from MAC the lip liner in the inner part of my lip and a little bit of the nude gloss um, from MAC called See Through on the um, outer perimeter so you get a little bit more of that depth in the middle, but really we mostly just use these and blush for today's look. So if you have cream blush um, or liquid blush that you 
always feel like I always feel like I don't use these very much but when it comes to this time of the season I do because it makes your skin look just so healthy and like I love the look of like a little bit of a wind chap or like when your skin is getting like a little bit like cold <laughs> um, I just think it looks really cute so yeah this hat um was made for me by roseanne paulson shout out to you thank you for this hat i wear it all the time it's my most favorite winter hat she made this for me um one of my friends from back home in oregon and then um you know you'd be a miss without a scarf and some gloves i love winter because there are so many options for accessories and you really get a layer up so if you love that too, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe, become a bleeding heart, become a member of our family here on YouTube. I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers and I would really love it if you'd help me out. Please share this video with anyone who you think would love this content or would love to subscribe. And I will see you guys all on the next video. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Bye.